Good morning, everyone. All right, we are previewing the 14th annual India Festival USA event happening uh, next month. But we're a little early, but it's okay. We're giving you guys plenty of time to get there and get tickets, right, Orvi? Yes. Okay. Um, well, we talked about just uh, some of the vendors that are going to be there. Uh, another yes. aspect will be henna, correct? Yeah, correct. Uh, one of the booths are going to be a few henna artists over there. Mm -hmm. And henna is a huge part of the Indian community. It brings people together. You could have fun with it, mm -hmm. or you could, usually it's done at a wedding on the brides and the family members really intricately, as you see over here. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's some of the funnest things to do, and it's really relaxing, honestly. It's so it can be done for special occasions, traditionally done for special occasions, yes. but now it's kind of uh, segued into, well, anytime you want some, yeah, you, you can get some. Yeah, if you want to test out a tattoo or something, All right. you can do it with henna if you Or if you're going to go to a party, you want yeah, to be pretty fancy. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is also a great opportunity to learn about the traditions of henna as well as is in addition to seeing it being done or maybe have it done on you, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's so many different cultural meanings to it across the globe, you mm -hmm. know, not just in Indian culture. Right. It's, you know, it could be in so many different areas. I know Mor in Moroccan culture and even mm -hmm. in Chinese culture before it used to be there too. Yeah. So. That's our goal, right? Well, let's talk cultures. about the event. Uh, it's huge. For those who haven't been there or seen it, kind of break it down for us. Paint a picture of what it's like. It's it's pretty extensive, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely very extensive. Like you see, this is like a mini pick of it. But usually when you come to India Festival USA, you walk in, you see countless exhibits. Mm -hmm. You know, you walk through the exhibits and obviously you have food, you have entertainment, you have so many different aspects. You get to just enjoy and have fun like any other festival you go to yeah. or any other fair, I would say, that you go to. So, okay. Yeah. And this year you guys are partnering with the Ukrainian community uh, as a big uh, a big part of making yourself inclusive and, and exploring diversity of all the cultures, correct? Absolutely. You know, one of the goals is bridging cultures, generations, and communities, and that's just the first step of many that we hope to do here in Cleveland. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're excited to keep moving forward and growing, and I hope everyone comes to enjoy, even just to stroll through. Yeah. It's just so fun to see different things and shop around a little bit, or even window shop, you know? Yeah. Well, but you had we some great encourage. stuff over yeah. here, yeah. Um, the event takes place uh, next month, the 16th, correct? Yes, September 16th. And it's going to be, where our friends at Honest uh, Restaurant here, thank you so much for allowing us to use your space, but it's going to be at the Brexville Broadview Heights. Heights High School, High yeah. School, yep. yeah, because it's so big, like 4,000 people last year. Yeah, that's insane. that's insane, Okay. Yeah. Oh, as we finish, can we show the other side of the hand? The yeah. You already finished that. Uh, the okay. Whoop! Look whoop. at that. Wow! Yeah. Look at that. All right, back to you guys in the studio. Check that out. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Oh, so yeah. pretty. It's gonna be a great event. Yeah. It really is. Yes, it will be. Mm -hmm. Kenny, give Orby a big hug for me. I love her so much. <laughs> She's so cute. 